In this video, we're going to show how we can use Mfusion to manage our Mbox appliances. All our devices, once they go online, they will call home back to Mfusion where you can remotely monitor and manage each device. You can also set alerts on any force or threshold and generate historical reports to send to a list of emails. You can also M use Mfusion to manage configurations and push firmware upgrades for each of the devices. The device has to be provisioned. So you go to admin host to add the device into Mfusion so that we can start monitoring straight away once the device goes online. So the provision is very simple. You just add the MAC address under host name. You can give a readable alias name, assign it to the customer entity attached to a template so that you will inherit all the monitoring metric from the template. You can optionally add a location info so that you can view the device status from Google map. Then you save the change and you go to the dashboard. You can see the device status on Google map. So the Google map is basically a standard Google map. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can also, if there's any issue with any of the device, there will be an alert next to the device icon. You can click on it to drill in for further details. So now I've clicked on this device and can go to the issue manual. And so far, there's no problem with this device, but you can also filter to see the historical events happening to this device. So similarly, you can go to the graphs icon to see what are the operating status for this device over the historical period. You can view it on a monthly or daily basis. You can also select a time or date range. And you can also look at other uh, utilization information. For example, this is the link utilization. And you can also look at the CPU and memory utilization of this device. So it's extremely flexible and it includes a lot of monitoring metric. So you can go to the overview dashboard here to see all the monitored metric for each host. So a CPU memory disk and on the right is the interface. You can click on any of the items to look at its historical utilization again. So it brings you to the graph so that you can you know, narrow down to a particular period and drill in for further analysis. So these are the real-time graphs. You can use the reporter to generate schedule report to send to your list of emails. Just create a new report. You can customize the report. For example, you can send put a customer logo on the front page, customer's email address here, and you assign it to the entity. Then you can schedule to be daily or weekly and monthly and a particular time of the day. And you select our, uh, the module and you can select the graph that you want to include in the reports because the each entity may have many hosts and each host have many metrics being monitored you probably don't want to include all of them in, re in the report so you can use that filter to select the particular graph that you want to include in your reports i've selected the WAN link utilization i probably want to see the hotspot utilization as well for the hsg so you just filter the item or rather the graph, you save and you can preview your reports. So the report, this is what the customer will see as an attachment in the email when they receive the report. So that's how the report works. The next is to talk about the config edit and firmware push upgrade. Then you can go to Mfusion Cloud, select the host and click on the host name, it brings you to the host edit menu where you can make the configuration change or firmware upgrade, or you can just simply go to admin or host filter to the host that you are interested to edit. It's the same menu page that you see here and you can scroll down, expand the host config. You'll be able to see the list of configs that are shown here and you can click on any of the config. This is exactly what you see from the command line. The difference is the config, each time when you make a change from the command line, the config will be automatically back up onto Mfusion so that you can view the actual config and you can also compare the historical config changes between the various config versions, okay? And you can choose any of the config, existing config here to update or make a change from here, or you can upload or config template from elsewhere and it becomes usable by this particular host. So let's say I'm just going to use one of the config here and I'm going to make a change to that configuration. For, for example, I'm going to 
add a description to that interface here new network and I'm going to add an IP address as well so that this network becomes usable for some other operation purpose so whenever you make a changes update and review and you make sure this is exactly what you intend to change for this config and if you're happy with this you can save and push the config right now or if you are not very sure you can save the change and so that nothing happens, the config will be created and you will be attached to the administrator's name, whoever that log into the system. And when, whenever you create a new config or make a change to the config or upload a config from external and your username is so attached to the config so that this is extremely important for audit purposes. And if you still unsure your config change is valid or not, you can compare with other versions to make sure this is something that you intend to make. And once you're happy with this, you go back and you can make the config, you select the, the new config and you save change, you are starting to push to the device. So within two minutes, the box will grab the config and reboot and apply the new config. Or you can push from the config directly from here as well. Just the same effect. So that's how you do the config change and update. You can also push firmware upgrade here. You just put the firmware version that you intend to push. You enable, and again, you save. You'll be asked to put in your password just to make sure this is an intended action because the device will reboot whenever you push a firmware or you push a config update. But this is how we do this change on a per host basis. But sometimes you probably want to do it group of hosts or a company that may have many sites. They all have the same configurations. So all you have to do is you go to the end, you upload the config to the entity level. So for example, I'm gonna use demo entity. Then you upload a config template to that entity so that it becomes usable to all the hosts within that entity. So once the config is upload here, then you go to the host and you, let's say I'm going to filter it to the entity and I'm going to push to four of the hosts within that entity. So you just do a mass update and you can select that config from the entity. Once you upload the config to the entity, it becomes usable to all the hosts within the entity. And you click and you do an update. You'll push the same config to all the selected hosts. Likewise, you can do the same when you do the firmware upgrade. So that's how you can do the mass update in terms of firmware upgrade and config push as well. 